So hey, Assalamualaikum. Uh, so today we will uh, know how we can apply for Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program. So this is one of the amazing programs for students, which is open. Uh, you can apply for the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program, and you can be a part of it. And the most uh, amazing thing is uh, that it's not for like uh, only for SWAX or those kind of things. It is uh, one of the best platform right now to get connected with Microsoft folks and also uh, the amazing folks uh, or students, um, the like-minded people. So if you are interested to learn amazing uh, technologies and those kind of features, so uh, obviously apply for it. You will get exposure, knowledge, and connection. That's what I think we as a students uh, need. Okay, so um, let me share my screen uh, to the application procedure. Okay. So, um, okay. So uh, this is the Microsoft Learning to Ambassadors uh, that web page. So I will give that in the description section. Uh, just you have to go there and log in with one of your Microsoft IDs. And after that, you can you can just scroll down and see why should you apply and uh, hear from some learning student ambassadors. Those are the gold ambassadors. So there are uh, normally there are like three uh, promotions uh, after being selected as ambassadors or you can say three ambassadors, three type of ambassadors. One is like when you are selected for the uh, for this program, you will be just an ambassador, and after some task, you will uh, be a uh, Microsoft Alpha Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. And after, uh, if you take Learn and take an event, you will be promoted to Beta, and uh, you will get some swags like this. This was one of my posts at LinkedIn, so you will get this kind of swags or customized swags. Uh, depending on your region and if you're uh, like very active you're contributing to your community for uh, the last one year or so uh, you might be uh, promoted to gold ambassadors so there are very less gold ambassadors but in future inshallah there will be a lot of uh, ambassadors uh, who will contribute and grow the community okay so you can scroll down but the most important part is the apply now okay you have to apply now, uh, press the apply now and go for apply. Okay, so first of all, you can see here the application notifications. So here you will uh, see some uh, notification related to like um, when you should apply or what is the deadline. This kind of information will be updated here and who are eligible to apply. Uh, who are not eligible like uh, there is some restrictions about the us uh, uh, like things that like use my immigration related benefits you have to read that okay so here first uh, you can see application received after february 28 2021 will be considered uh, for admission uh, with the start date of july 2021 it uh, means it was for the last cohort who entered into this uh, the april cohort Okay, so this is not for you guys. You can just apply. You can just see the notification. This is, uh, you can see the notification and you can apply. There's no problem. The application is open throughout the year. It is accepted just three times. Like uh, it is accepted in January, then in April and uh, in the August or uh, that time. So you can apply anytime you can apply. You can edit your application and uh, you can uh, then see that uh, yeah, when is the deadline coming or those kind of you can anytime you can come here and modify your application and again uh, submit there's no problem with that okay so you can see uh the application notification and after that you will go uh to there like you can say one two three four five six six steps so you have to just check this out like if you're 16 years old or not and if you're a student it is it's important like uh if you're a college student or university here college uh, normally means like uh, university uh, in India it means university like after 12th we do go to the university and in India it's called the college so it means college or university if you are in bachelor's or uh, master's doing or even PhD I've seen uh, one of our ambassadors from uh, Bangladesh who are doing this kind of thing uh, so 
you uh, there is no problem with that if you're a student you can apply for that but you have to be at least 16 years old and have valid identification obviously you have to be you cannot fake your identification and uh, after that go to next so here will, will be some personal information there is no problem with that and again here after that you have to go for academic institution you will feel it no problem with that you can see in the degree level uh, here you can see i told you before that bachelor's master's and phd the college doesn't mean you are uh, you are a part of uh, like 11th or 12th and you just want to apply for that you are not eligible for that you have to be uh, you have to study for bachelor's master's or phd okay and the college meant it's like for in, in india i told you that uh, the uh, people who study in bachelor's still are uh, the college the university or institution is called college but uh, the other places is called university so that's why they have mentioned college so this is not for the 11 to 12 people so it is so it starts from the bachelor's the master's or phd that's how that's what you can apply for okay so after that go to um, academic okay so as i have filled up there's no problem with that uh, you can also see the application questions okay they, these are the most important things okay okay so here you can see the application question uh, please answer the question in the following section in one video and two written examples okay so here you can see the previous the um, video has been changed actually this website has been uh, changed uh, the last time i made a video on microsoft learning student ambassador programs uh, that time the website was not like this they, now this time it has been changed okay uh, here you can pick uh, one thing like you have uh, pick inspire and then you have to um, uh, kind of select uh, the video okay that the you want to give a video here you can just uh, give here okay you can see here uh, just written like please answer the question in the following section with one video and two written examples okay so if you here as i have selected inspire it meant that i will give you inspire video related to inspire question like the question is what excites you about technology and why do you want to help other students explore uh, you just make a video okay you just make a video uh, by uh, recording uh, on your webcam there's no need of editing or those kind of things just be honest be uh, uh, make sure that there is not that kind of noise or no noise at all so and make a video and just upload it in OneDrive or Google Drive. There's no problem with that. Just upload it there and then share the link in here. Okay, share the link here. And the other two sections, uh, you can actually write it down. You can just write um, some text, like the text uh, kind of thing. Answer those questions in text. Like you can see how could you, uh, how would you take a technical concept and teach it to a friend or peer that has never heard of it. Okay so just write how uh, would you take that concept and how would you uh, share it with your peer you can just write it down there's no problem with that but if you decide that you will not make a video on inspire there is still option you can uh, choose teach okay you can make a video on teach or you can make a video on promote there is no problem with that okay so here you can see only one video under two minutes should be provided okay uh, okay so in our time there was like uh, you can provide uh, three videos or at least one at least one or three videos but here now you can see the format has changed you can see please answer the question in the following section only one video under two minutes should be provided okay so just they have they need just one video you just you just don't need now three videos uh, to make just make one video and just uh, two written examples that's all mm, okay so after that i think and also i would uh, suggest that this is the most important part be honest let's assume that you have no uh, experience or those kind of thing but you are kind of you want to learn you want to explore and you have proved uh, by them that you are learning you are very uh, you doesn't you don't have a very good profile it can happen but uh, i'm sorry for that okay you might not have very good profile, but if you have ensured that you are learning continuously, then 
make uh, you also have to prove in in your video just make the video that and uh, be honest uh, the uh, i think video is the most important part in some cases because uh, the recruiters or the people who will judge the video they will they will realize that uh, if you are honest or not if you are like kind of copying the video or not or someone's uh, those kind of thing they will actually justify the video so make the video mm, well you kind of make a script and then kind of perform the video. I think that's the most important part uh, of your application. And after that, go to the social media. So here you can see there are a lot of links like you can provide your LinkedIn or you can provide Stack Overflow link or GitHub repository or you, mean you maintain all those kind of things. But uh, here's a suggestion that if you don't maintain any of those, don't put it here. Because like if you provide a LinkedIn and there's nothing in your LinkedIn, why would you provide? Few people say that if your LinkedIn just give it, it is a plus point. No, it's minus point. If you don't maintain it, don't give it. Because the recruiter will actually go there into the link and he will see, he or she will see there is nothing. So it is a minus point. So don't do that. Okay. So rather what you do, if you maintain something, then do it but if you don't maintain something for me what happened is uh before i applied i saw the platform that these things are required so i started planning that i started maintaining this kind of websites like linkedin i started maintaining linkedin i started maintaining github so uh i started i started to uh, do this work uh, for my own purpose as well as well so these things work for me like uh, when I was applying, uh, by that time, I had a uh, kind of average LinkedIn ID or average GitHub ID. So I was I just shared because I was confident that, yes, uh, my LinkedIn progress was good. My GitHub progress was good. So that's why I share. So this is uh, it depends on you. If you, uh, if, uh, you see that like, LinkedIn profile you are providing is OK. Uh, this is uh, you are active. You are kind of um, doing works. Then obviously share. This is a plus point then okay then uh go to the additional information and share like which of the following technologies interest you share no problem with that okay there are a lot of uh, technologies like artificial intelligence blockchain data science devops open source security of development so why are you sharing this i actually don't know exactly why uh, we're sharing this but let me share you one uh information that after you join after you join the MLSM, you will be introduced to leagues. We have leagues. So the leagues are like uh, leagues for machine learning, leagues for IoT, this kind of this kind of topics, big tech topics. So uh, the gold ambassadors are maintaining those leagues and we are kind of learning every month, different kind of technology. And a lot of MLSs are doing good in image income, Microsoft's image income. So, make sure you apply for this mlsa and join us okay so is there anything else you'd like to share with us and also i think uh one or two things is much more uh, the most important part one was the video and this is the second one because it is not mandatory but still you can share uh with them something about you so if you're actually i told you if you're actually kind of excited about the technology you want to learn you want to share and um, what I believe is like learn in public and grow with the community. This is the thing I believe in. So if you believe something, if you're doing something, if you want to learn, if you want to share, if you want to grow for the community, go for it. Just share your thoughts, share what you want to share. So this is uh, what I think you should go for. And okay, um, that was it for me. So thanks for watching the video. I think you will find this video very helpful and you will apply for MLSF. Uh, see you in another one.